Here in this video we will rank the 15 biggest titans and mechas from the Warhammer 40k universe, including the Orc Gargans, the Eldari Phantoms and the Bio Titans of the Tyranids. So let's get into it. At number 15 we have the Hierophant. This is a Bio Titan from the Tyranid Xenos, an alien faction made up of composite species which are insectoid and swarm-like in origin and controlled by a hive mind that is intergalactic in scale. The Hierophant is a massive creature, hunched in posture, that has four legs, a tail, numerous small tentacles, and two arms that are modified into biocannons. They are 13.5 meters or 44 feet tall. Number 14, the Revenants. These are the smaller type of titans fielded by the Eldari faction, an ancient, highly advanced psychic race of Xenos that are very similar to humans in appearance. The Revenant is a scout variant which is 15 to 17 meters tall or 50 to 56 feet in height. Its compact size allows it to move with a nimbleness that is impossible for the massive war machines of the other intelligent species to duplicate. Number 13, the Warhound. First, from the Imperium of Man, a galactic spanning empire composed of a million worlds, the Warhound class Titan is the smallest class of Imperial Titans in this list and is deployed as a scout or a flanking unit to conduct reconnaissance on the enemy lines. Generally armed with four turbo lasers, they are deadly in battle. Warhounds stand 17 meters or almost 56 feet tall. Number 12, the Orc Gargant. Clumsy and chaotic in appearance, as are any other tech fielded by the Orcs, a race of fungal green-skinned humanoids that are barbaric and warlike in nature. The Gargants are large war machines of the Orcs and are the answer to humans' imperial titans, although with lesser grace and firepower. These Gargans are bigger than the Stompers, which are smaller Orc mechs, and these Gargans are 20 meters or 65.6 feet tall. Number 11, the Reaver. This 25 meters or 82 feet tall Reaver class Titan is a versatile machine that is frequently utilized in the front lines of battle by the Titan Legions of Humanity. The Reaver, a medium weight Imperial battle Titan, can carry up to three distinct Titan grade weapons or systems on the chassis and arms. They are shielded on all sides by heavy sloping armor and they are protected by four void shield generators. Number 10, the Great Gargan. These are even bigger monstrosity machines fielded by the Orc Wag. They are equipped with a range of different caliber cannons and melee weapons, cause charging and an enemy is what Orcs love to do. Owning a Great Gargan is a source of pride and wealth for an Orc war boss. Such lumbering clumsy machines are in the range of 25 to 26 meters or 82 to 85 feet in height. Number 9. The Haridan. The brooding mother, as it is sometimes called, is the greatest flying Tyranid Biotitan. Haridans are enormous flying bioforms that appear to function as brood mothers to 20 gargoyles, which are smaller units. They are armed with two massive biocannons and a couple of scythe claws. They are slow in the air, but are deadly in air-to-ground warfare. They have a standing height of 29 meters or 95 feet in height. Number 8. The Warbringer This Warbringer Nemesis class Titan is a battle Titan fielded by the Imperium of Man that is incised in power between the Reaver and the Warlord class Titans. It is utilized by the Collegia Titanicus Titan Legions and the Chaos Titans as well of the Dark Mechanicum. The Quake Cannon on its back is capable of demolishing fortresses or even other Titans with a single hit. They are 30 meters or almost 100 feet tall. Number 7. The Mega Gargant The Mega Gargant is an extremely uncommon super-large orc titan equivalent in power output to an Imperator or a Warmonger class titan of humanity, but comparable in size to the smaller Imperial Warlord or the Warbringer class. It is a track vehicle and operates as a fortress for the orc forces. The Mega Gargant stands at a height of 32 meters or 105 feet in height. Number 6. The Warlord The Warlord class titans are a bigger and more powerful sort of battle titan. They appear to be the most prevalent type of battle titans used by the Titan Legions, with numerous forged worlds feeling their own variations. The Warlord towers over the Reaver class titans at 33 meters or 108 feet tall. It has four battle titan weaponry hardpoints on the shoulders, chassis and arms for more firepower. Number 5. The Phantoms and the Warlocks Eldari titans are unlike the titans of the other sentient races. 
Phantoms and warlocks are made around a wraith bone, a psychically controlled substance. Its core houses a deceased Eldari spirit and allows it to freely move around the wraith bone of the Titan, giving it its own mind, which, when paired with the life crew, transforms it into a lethal machine. These Titans are around 40 meters or 131 feet in height. Number 4. The War Master This Titan is classified as a heavy battle Titan, making it one of the most powerful Titans feared by the Imperium of Man. The War Master, which towers over even a Warlord Titan at 41 meters or 134 feet in height, is armed with a pair of suzerain class plasma destructors that transforms whatever it touches into molten slag, and also a Revelator missile launcher, which can turn any target into molten glass, and also it has a pair of turbo laser destructors. Number 3. The Warmonger and the Imperator The super heavy battle titans called the Emperor Titans are subdivided into two known classes, the Imperator class titan and the Warmonger class titan. The Imperator is a general purpose assault platform, whereas the Warmonger is a dedicated long range fire support unit. Both these two titan classes stand at an approximate height of 60 meters or 200 feet tall. Number 2. The Chaos Abominatus the forces of chaos have their own deadly titans, which are also the same ones as fielded by the Imperium of Man. But the Abominatus, also known as the Despoiler of Worlds, is a hellish union of a chaos corrupted Imperator class titan and a greater demon of Khorne, the chaos blood god of battle. The union corrupted and mutated the god engine to become a tremendous 95 meters or 312 feet tall murdering behemoth. And number one, the rare Imperators. This is another type of Emperor class titans, but are rarely seen and only known from vague mentions. These titans are probably from the dark age of technology and building them, building these god machines are beyond humanity's capability in the dark grim age of the 40k millennia. Such Emperor class titans are said to be 150 meters or more than 450 feet in height and could be seen from space. So I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. Do hit the like button for support and subscribe. But most of all, smash that bell icon for regular updates on new videos right here on this channel. Till the next one, take care guys.